just after 9 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Oh, I was awake earlier. I got to buy a TV today. For my old aged fella, I look well, helped to look after. He looks after himself. But I'll chip in, chip in with some couple of hands, couple of hands. His legs are gone. Well, one of his legs, his, one of his knees are gone. Yeah, so I got to head off up to Armourford to buy a t t t t t TV for him. I'll go down to see him now. Um, it'll be a cheap one, 24 inch flat screen, LED type, colours Fandango TV. Bush, from Argus, Armourford. Armourford? Yeah. Yeah, I hope this time it works out. He gave me 120 quid. <laughs> 120 quid last week to uh, go and get one, and I got there. Got to the bloody... Till number two, please. In August, Alfred. And under five of the 20s, 100 pounds, five of the 20s were bent. They were fucking forged. I didn't know where to book myself. And then the, the bloody uh, manager came out with the scissors. See, these are all forged. Oh, anyway, yeah, I've reported it. I've said the only place he, uh, excuse me, the only place he gets money from is is the franchise. Franchise post office in the little supermarket on the road. And, uh, I don't go there anymore. I had problems with the boss. Uh, and I, it's funny how you sense these things. Anyway, so after I, I came out of Argos last week, a few doors down was Lloyd's Bank, and I went in there. Look, 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 look. And I said, where Mal only gets, he doesn't go to a cash point or anything like that. He goes to the counter and gets his fresh cash out from there. So I told Lloyd's Bank exactly where the money came from. So see what happens there. Good enough. He's a bastard, that fella. He's a bastard. He's a county kent. I uh, never mind. Gotta report these things. I was so smug. I told him report them. Uh the the due I think they might be due on assessments. Uh, a call by. I, mean, I think it happened a couple of days ago. I was walking past there. You've got these silly bloody girls working there, thick as sludge, and I could see that bent money could easily be passed over there. But he's trying to talk to these people. You know, I told him about one girl who was working there a good few years ago. She was nicking <laughs> in all sorts of ways. Fucking hell. Don't pay by card there. She could enter the wrong, wrong amount. And who checks the receipts when you tap and go? Who get? Who actually asks for a receipt when you tap and go? See? And, um, but, oh, anyway, I'm for here I come. Ta-ra.